I'm going to show basically how we're going to block rats, mice, and squirrels and other types of larger animals from going through a fence in our backyard because we're going to plant some fruits and vegetables. So before we were using a, a larger wire mesh size and a smaller one down there in the background. And they were a bunch of separate pieces, but now um, I measured it and we're going to use one long piece of fence that's just one piece. This is getting harder to find in hardware stores like Lowe's and Home Depot, but I found this on Amazon. It's from Yard Guard. It's uh, 61 centimeters high by 15.2 meters in length and it has a 6.35 millimeter mesh size. So that small mesh size will prevent the larger animals from getting in. And um, basically, I've got some zip ties to tie the fence against the fence uh, that we have. And then I've got some pincers there to cut the fence as well as the zip ties. And that's a laser distance measuring tool, which I like to use versus the measuring tape because it's kind of a long distance. And um, just make sure you order a length that's long enough to cover your distance if you want to just go with one piece. So I press the measure distance button once and then you see the laser pointer and then you hit it one more time and it takes a measurement. I'm going to line this up with the other side of the fence and press the measure button once and make sure the laser pointer is pointing to the other side of the fence because if they're not perfectly parallel, the laser will just shoot into the air. So you need to kind of twist it a little bit just to get it right. So I've got the laser pointer lined up to the other side of the wall and I'm going to hit the con measure button continuously. I've got an average distance about 11.277 meters and my fence is 15.2 meters long so it's going to be long enough and I'm just going to cut it off. But I'm going to do that in the end once I got one side mounted and the other side mounted. So this next step is completely optional. I spray painted these zip ties that were of different assorted colors. You could use, my suggestion is, you know, just spray them inside of a container like this paint lying around, Rust-Oleum camouflage green. And I spray painted them to match the color of the fence we repainted. It's about 30 years old and it was rusted. So here's a suggestion for the color. It's from Bear, Trellis Wine M440-6. And I would suggest, um, they suggest get get the ultra paint that's designed for outdoor exterior use. So we're gonna basically mount the fence with those zip ties. So now I'm gonna use these pincers to cut the wrapping off the fence. Be careful, you don't wanna cut portion of your fence. I'll have the links to the fence and the other items in the description below. But uh, for now, uh, what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to mount the fence. I'm gonna leave a little extra on both corners so that I could properly fasten them and not leave any gaps. And then I'm just gonna use the wire that came with the fence that was keeping it wrapped up. I'm gonna use this rake or you could just get a rod or a piece of wood tied to the fence to prevent the bottom fence from tipping over as I'm fastening it onto the main fence. So I've got the fence butted up against the left uh, wooden fence and uh, I'm gonna make sure it's gonna be flush against the edge of the fence that way it stays level as I fasten it with the zip ties. I have it stretched out here and I got the roll fastened to the fence with that piece of wire that came around the fence, the smaller fence that kept it tied up. So now that I've got the bottom of the smaller fence leveled with the bottom base of the larger fence, I'm gonna put the zip tie in this top corner right here. Make sure you're using some long ones because the initial ones I was using were kind of small and hard to tie around here. use the pincer to cut it off. You could do this later too, just to save time, but I'm doing it for example's sake. 
since it's taking me really long to put on the zip ties uh i've decided i'm gonna use the wire that came with the fence um and put it around the harder portions which is mainly the bottom portions of the fence and then i'll just use zip ties for the top portions because they will be a lot easier to install so since the zip tie process took so long i'm gonna just use that piece of wiring that came with the fence the smaller fence and wrap it around and this should be easier to guide in the zip tie i just cut a predetermined length and there you go you simply tie it up and not as tight as the zip tie but it still does the job maybe I'll use the zip ties later and then I'm gonna repeat the process along the rest of the length of the fence and then just mount zip ties along the top side just be sure to keep the fence flush with the bottom base so that there's no gaps So I'm cutting these wires to preset lengths so that I have more as I wrap the fence around the posts and I'm wrapping around every two posts. So you might want to just figure out how much wire you'll need to wrap around your respective post based on its uh, width. Another thing that's helping is I'm preforming the shape of the wire that I'm fastening. That way it's easier to insert as I'm fastening the bottom of the fence. So on the top side of the fence, I'm installing the zip ties versus the um, steel wire that came with the smaller fence. And I'm just gonna basically go around. Make sure you got the orientation right so that the locking portion is facing inside versus outside. And I'm just gonna pull. And then as I go along the fence when I'm done, the whole fence I'm gonna cut these off later with this pincer wires so this is a quick overview of the fence and its installation on the larger fence basically I've got steel wires zipped around at the bottom and I uh, uh, zipped them around every two posts and then I put zip green zip ties that I painted over the top side and then we're slowly covering up with dirt you can see on the left side um, the bottom of the fence is rusted pretty bad because it's like 30 years old so we're gonna put some rocks and stones there too to prevent any squirrels or rats or other animals from getting in through any possible gaps but I've got zip ties and steel wires at the bottom wrapped all around and then I've just got the end corner left so I've got, as you can see, steel wire wrapped at the bottom and zip ties at the top end. And then the end of this fence, I've still got a lot of material left. So I'm just gonna cut it off. I'm gonna use the edge of this post as reference and then cut it off with my pincer. So now that I got all the zip ties on, I'm just gonna go and start cutting them off one by one with these pincers. And then I'm gonna leave a little and maybe pull it with needle nose pliers if necessary, just to tighten up the fence along the main fence. So here's just a quick example of me cutting the remainder of the zip ties. I just push it and pull it from the needle nose pliers here and push it against the fence and then I cut off the remaining portion. Now that all the zip ties have been cut, uh, what we're going to do is basically this uh, initial part of the fence came bent like this so it's actually blocking off the sharps on the edge of the fence of that bend so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end as I cut it off so to finish off the other side of the fence basically I'm using this large piece of wood that I had lying around to hold on to the remaining portion of the fence since I've got nothing to tie it to and I'm gonna leave a little bit like I discussed right here I'm gonna cut it along this edge of the fence straight down because uh, I want to leave a little want to mount it against something possibly or this wood post if I need to and also to bend it so that I could create kind of like a hem a bend around on the fence so that the sharp edges are not left open for someone to get cut with
and I'll just cut this piece by piece and go straight along this line and we should be good to go. So just got the last portion left to cut and we're good to go and I'm going to wrap away the rest of the fence. So after cutting the rest of the fence, basically uh, we wrapped up the remaining portion of the fence. Found a piece of hanger wire to wrap it around with. Um, and you could use uh, some other steel wire if you have some. Just do it on flat ground so that the middle of the fence doesn't pop out. And also just be careful that this doesn't slide out either. And you can just store it safely away.